Chris Chinock here for Display Central. I'm at uh, Display Week 2014. I'm in the uh, Qualcomm booth, and we're taking a look at their Mirasol displays. Uh, the Mirasol displays, as you can see in the background here, is a, um, a MEMS-based interferometric uh, device. So they create uh, little cavities here uh, with uh, mirrors that can move uh, up and down. So you get basically um, um, the ones designed for red, one designed for blue, one for, for green and they each have different distances for those red, green, and blue. Um, to, um, to create the color, you basically open, uh, you create this gap, and it creates an interfe uh, interference that allows uh, that color to be uh, properly reflected, uh, which is, th this is what they, the current design is. And the problem is, uh, if you want to do all red, for example, as they're showing here, uh, you've got to have actually two, two parts are, are black, so that kind of mixes black with the red, so you get kind of a, a pinkish color. So you don't get quite the, the full saturation that, uh, that you might uh, want. Uh, so what they're working on over here is kind of a, a new design they call SMI. Uh, and that is now um, taking uh, the, 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 the what, what it does over here is becom becomes analog modulation of that, um, of that cavity. Uh, over on this side, the existing product is all uh, binary. So it's either um, a, a cavity is open or it's shut. Uh, there's no modulation in between. When you go to um, this kind of design, which is uh, being able to basically analog modulate the gap, uh, you can have, uh, w when it's fully shut, the gap is, there's no gap, it's white, a little bit uh, down, it becomes black, and then you, uh, as that gap increases, you can get uh, the full range of colors from blue, yellow, green, and then into the red. So obviously much better uh, advantages of that are going to be things like um, uh, full color uh, with uh, better saturated color. Um, they're going to be a little bit faster because they're going to an, an IGZO backplane. Uh, they're also going to have this as an active matrix uh, device. The current devices are, are a passive matrix. Uh, it will be brighter a, as well uh, and more saturated colors uh, So and, and lower power. So there's uh, obviously a lot of advantages for, for moving to this design. Uh, on, uh, it is still in development, however. Uh, don't have a time frame for commercialization. Um, but uh, obviously working on that it could be a much more compelling uh, next generation product. Um, what they are uh, doing today is they have um, this device right here. This is called um, Qualcomm uh, TOC, T-O-Q. Uh, and this is a, a kind of a reference design that they developed um, and released uh, last December. Uh, this has a 1.55 inch um, uh, reflective display with, with an integrated front light. And what they've done is, is they, uh, they don't plan to commercialize this. They want to use this as a reference, reference design for their customers to, uh, to be able to build their own devices from this uh, and eventually have a migration path for this device into ones that incorporate the, the new design over here. Uh, so they, they have a full uh, software stack for this. They have all the uh, design uh, integration for it uh, and support. So uh, again, a full uh, reference design for customers to work with. Um, plus apps. They've developed some apps for that too, like uh, weather and, and, and stock tickers and whatnot. And uh, they said they've always been asked uh, if you can, uh, what happens if you want to curve it? Well, here's a, uh, a device that they actually curve. Uh, it's not, not a lot of curvature, but it, it does work. So even though uh, you're, you're bending these interferometric mirrors, uh, you can st still create a device uh, with some mild amount of, of curvature. So that is uh, pretty much the story here on the, uh, the Mirasol side of, of Qualcomm.